According to Karonge, imaging small miners are now extracting mineral from rocks that carry historical paintings. He urged the community and various stakeholders to come up with a solution to stop this trend. We are competing for resources. Uh, they, the mining uh, people really want to mine. But in the long run or sustainably, I think this is an area where it can be considered for tourism uh, uh, development, where it is more long run rather than just taking uh, what is happening now and after 10 years nothing is, will be left here. So I think if we start to look for other way of uh, uh, benefiting from this uh, uh, nature, uh, the beauty, what you could have seen, rather than just leaving it out for uh, outsiders to come and do whatever they want and leave us with uh, this spoil area. Karonge bemoans what he says are traditional leaders who are very soft when it comes to providing the community with necessary updates on mining activities. On his part, the senior traditional council says they are aware of the situation, but all discussions based on the operations of the mines in their areas are being done at central government level. Wathwapwani added that the mining trucks that transport the processed material have also damaged their roads and areas that are demarcated for grazing are now occupied by the mines. So we had a meeting with the Honorable uh, Governor and uh, they, we set uh, various plans and how to try to solve this problem. But uh, it went uh, silent and we don't know what happened. And I remember when last year we, with our new chief, we met the, the, uh, His Excellency the President in Swakopmund. We also had a, uh, we raised some, some problems that we also encounter in this regard. Yeah, that, that, that is a really serious problem. Community, uh, to me, it, the, their points make sense. If it's such a situation that we are having, I think uh, we can come to a halt. If there is a problem that is affecting uh, something, we must come to a halt and start from the beginning. We don't rush because you, you are benefiting this side. The man is operating. And on the other hand also, we are not gaining anything as a community here on the ground. We are not getting anything. Approached for comment, a wrong original governor, Cleophas Mushavikwa, said that the areas where mining takes place have still not been declared as heritage sites. Mushavikwa says the mines that are operating there have given jobs to some Namibians and are contributing to the country's development, so closing them won't be a solution. On the road conditions, he says they recently had a positive discussion with the road authority and they are having a long-term plans that they are working on how to improve the road conditions in the area. Gary Kawari, NBC News.